then today I have my big tote bag because we're gonna go grocery shopping today. Um, it's been a while since I've been to the Lotte Mart near Seoul Station and we wanted to go there because they also have a Muji and I wanted to see if they had any like new things for my apartment since I have been buying a lot of furniture. But other than that, um, I've been seeing a lot of hoarding on the news, but in Korea, we haven't been dealing with that. Um, I guess in Daegu, there was a time where um, all the ramen were gone, but now like it has gotten a lot better and people in Korea aren't panicking and people are just being mindful, being careful, buying their mask and doing their part. Um, I went ahead and bought my mask this morning and this packaging, it tells you what day you should go in to purchase the mask. So I thought that was pretty neat. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go grocery shopping today and I want to take you guys along with me because so many of you guys have requested for a grocery shopping vlog. So hopefully they allow me to film and um, we'll see how like busy it is or not because it's been a while since I've been to like a bigger mart. Usually I just go to one one near my neighborhood, but we'll go to the Lotte Mart today and check it out. All right, let's go. the bus and now we just have to cross to go to the Lotte Mart. My mom is leading the way. Ooh. We're here. Just gonna follow follow my mom. Right when you enter they give you tissues to wipe off the carts and also hand sanitizers are everywhere. Um, my mom is looking around and let's see what they have. So far, everything is here. I don't see any empty shelves, which is a good sign. I really want some strawberries right now. Everything is on sale. At the meat section now and it looks like everything is on sale. And there's a sign that says Himneja Tam Mingo, which is let's fight this together, we can do this. South Korea. Alright. My mom is busy. We have a Saja. We have a little bit of 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 the wine section now and right behind me all the cheese are there and there's a specific cheese that I love so much so let me show you guys it's this one right here melon and mango fruit cheese this is so good with wine also going to pick up this natural wine they wrapped it and told us to wait 30 minutes after opening and it'll taste better so thank you for the tip such friendly employees This one comes with Kleenexes. Oh, go. I'm done with my grocery shopping, but my mom wanted to look around some more, so I came upstairs for Muji. Let's go on inside. Didn't see anything at Muji, but right next to Muji, we have a Toys R Us. Abe would be obsessed if they had Marvel stuff. But oh, here Abe, if you're watching, for you. 
You want this? Oh, sample. Mask could be soon. They have disposable masks and a ton of sanitizer. 뭐, 뭘로 할까? 이거 작은 거 필요할 것 같은데? 들고 다니기 편할 것 같아, 이거. 작은 거는? 이거 작은 거 하나 할게. just got all our groceries and we're heading home now I hope you guys enjoyed the grocery vlog but it was so 정신없어 to be honest 안 그래? 정신없지 않아? 사야 될거 사야 되는데 막 촬영까지 하려고 그러니까 솔직히 it's really hard that's why I don't vlog as much when I'm grocery shopping but hope you guys enjoyed that Alright, we're back home and I wanted to open up this package before making lunch. We are going to have jakbaguri today. If you don't know what that is, go watch Parasite. But I wanted to make it because it's really easy and I thought maybe some of you guys might find it helpful if you guys wanted to taste it. But I ordered a few things from and other stories and let's go ahead and open all of them. First, I have this simple belted black skirt. I thought this would be perfect for the spring. You could style it with knee-high boots, stockings. It'll just be something that I know I'll be wearing often. I hope it fits. And then here, I ordered another pair of bottoms. And they are the cycling shorts. I really like wearing them with oversized blazers. So you will probably see me style this a lot during the springtime. And then here we have another package. They're headbands and I wanted them because on days where I don't want to wear a hat or pin it up with a bobby pin, I thought these would be perfect. <laughs> it looks really funny because I have my hair up but I think this will be really cute I just moved the camera because that piece of leaf looked like my hair but yes um, that's it for my and other stories haul if you are interested in any of the pieces I'll make sure to link it down below um, other than that today I'm going to take it easy I'm gonna make japaguri for me and my mom and then take a bath I noticed last time when I mentioned that I've never taken a bath at this new apartment uh, some people were confused asking if I never showered but no it's just I never took a bath in the tub like a bubble bath so I'm going to take another bath today and um, I just want to clarify that with you because I've been living here for a couple months now and that is shocking for someone to think that I don't shower but I do so yes okay I don't even know what I'm saying let's make japaguri and have a relaxing day all right, so we are going to make japaguri here on Joan Day. This is something that a lot of you guys wanted to see on my channel. Not the japaguri, but a lot of you guys wanted to see me cook in my kitchen. So I'm going to make japaguri today. And it's super simple. All you need is japagetti and noguri, and you're going to mix it together, and I'll show you guys how. And like the movie, we also have hanu, and we are going to season it with our favorite garlic salt, which we got from Costco. This has been lasting us for a very long time, so definitely something that we like to always have in our kitchen. But yeah, this is it. So first, we're gonna boil the water. And on the fry pan, we're going to make the beef. So I'm gonna be in charge of making the chapaguri, and my mom is going to handle the hanu. You pour in all the noodles 
and a cup of the broth. For the seasoning, you're gonna use all of the japaguri. I like using half of the noguri because otherwise it's too spicy or salty, and then the packet of olive oil. For half, I'm just gonna hold on to the other. And then you mix. We're ready to eat. We have the japaguri and hanu, and I can never eat jajangmyeon or japaguri without tanmuji. So this is our lunch. 우리가 japaguri 만들면서 더 맛있어지는 것 같아. 오늘 게더 맛있는 것 같아. 그래서 비생충 영어 본 사람들은 japaguri 한 번씩 해 먹지 않았을까? 그런 것 같아. 이거 하려면 단무지는 꼭 있어야 되겠죠? 음, <웃음> 진짜 꼭. 나 단무지 사러 한번 내. <웃음> 오늘 I'll be trying the shoot for the stars blush bomb. Let's throw it in there. Happy Sunday. Long time no vlogging. Last time I filmed was on Monday and it's Sunday, the day before this vlog goes up and I spent the day yesterday editing the vlog and I noticed that I got a fill up to 2020 and since a lot of you guys were asking for a skincare routine as well as a simple get ready with me, I decided to just add all of it into this video. My makeup routine is super simple so you guys will be seeing that in this video. Um, I did start off by washing my face with the I Woke Up Like This Daily Turnover Rise Perfect Oil Foam Cleanser. This is a cleanser that I shared in my new year new skincare video with Eddie and I've been loving it ever since so I just wanted to quickly share with you guys which cleanser I used in the morning and then for the first step I do like to use the Sarasu First Care Activating Serum this is their special Lunar New Year packaging and I'm obsessed because as you all know my favorite color is red so I'm just going to add two pumps and apply it to my face and then I'm gonna follow up with a more Pacific vintage single extract essence. And as you guys can tell from the bottle, I've used up so much of it. It's one of my favorite products ever because it's just super gentle and I love the results. It keeps my skin very moisturized. And then I follow up with an eye cream and I did receive this serum from Lokshitang and Loxitan. Loxitan. Loxitan? Again, in Korea, they call it Loxitang. Every time they send it over, they say, 안녕하세요, Loxitang입니다. Um, but I watched the video. Loxitan. Anyway, I kept this on my vanity because I did want to do like a first impression on this serum. So you use this before an eye cream. And it looks like this. It's Immortel. So Immortel is the flower that never fades. So it's supposed to help with anti-aging. Ooh, so far I really like it. I'm gonna use it on my smile lines as well as my forehead and then follow up with an eye cream. And this is the Chanel Le Lift cream. I received a bunch of Chanel skincare products because they wanted to do like a collaboration video. I was actually supposed to be in Paris. Like I mentioned on Joan Day that I was supposed to go to Paris and it was because of Chanel Beauty, but that got canceled because of what's going on right now. So they did send me all of the products for me to try and I did film an aesthetic routine on Instagram and I do plan on doing a follow-up because those products are really expensive. And so far I will say, um, this eye cream I've been loving um, and the other 
products haven't broken me out but i just want to know after trying for like a couple months or so if it is really worth it i think it'll be a helpful video for you guys because sometimes you just want to know if it's like really worth the money and if you're going to get your money's worth and so um i'm thinking about doing it but usually with skincare i do like to switch one product at a time so for example after finishing the eye cream i went with this and i guess moving on to like a toner i will switch it up for one product and keep my routine the same so i basically like to switch one product at a time because my skin is super sensitive so anyway um i'm talking way too much moisturizer here i have the then i met you's calming tide gel cream and this is their newest product and I do see some familiar ingredients that I love, especially peptides because they're great for anti-aging. So um, I'm going to show you guys how I use this product. It's super nice because there's like this flat surface on the back. You can just squeeze it out like that. And it's a very lightweight moisturizer. It feels very watery, almost like an emulsion, but it really hydrates my skin. So I've been loving this product. Okay, I'm gonna push the skincare to the side now and I'm going to let the moisture sit before applying sunscreen. So I'm gonna follow up with the lip balm and this is the Glow Recipe Lip Pop. I've been using this every day. I really like how it's scrub to balm. I love using this. Moving on to sunscreen, I'm gonna follow up with the Chanel. I received this along with the other Chanel skincare products and I really like the sunscreen very um what's that word very lightweight it smells really good too all right so now i'm gonna follow up with primer it's the silk canvas primer and i basically like to use this around my nose this really smoothens out the pores so i've been loving this one for foundation i've been using the chanel vita lumiere aqua or the troy adake cushion which is inside this chanel packaging um, i'll use this today because i'm not leaving my apartment today and i want to wear more skincare and the troy adake cushions are basically skincare um 99 skincare one percent makeup so i'm just going to use this today um, i don't have too much to cover um but i'll just evenly apply this foundation all over to balance my skin tone because i do have some redness and spots so i think like one light layer will do its job after foundation, I do like to immediately follow up with a translucent powder and this one from Laura Mercier has been my favorite. It's becoming a struggle to get the product out of this packaging because I used it like so much. I'm just going to use my beauty blender and mattify. Now for blush, I have been using 3CE's face blush in Peach Splash. And then for contour, I'm just gonna go with my Innisfree one. This has been my go-to. Three of them hit pan already and I am just obsessed with this. Alright, so I haven't been using brow products because now my hair color matches my brows so I don't feel the need to use a brow car or anything so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, apply eye makeup now and I've been using my trusty 3CE palette in Overtake these two colors have been my go-to I'm gonna use the peachy color all over my lids and the dark wine color on the outer corners I'm going to blend using the peach. I'm actually going to stop right here because I don't want to use a lip and eye remover today, but I got a lot of questions about what eyeliner I use, and recently I've been using the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. It's the long wear liquid eyeliner, um, and I'm obsessed with this. It draws really nice lines. So yeah, that's basically my makeup routine. A lot of you guys had questions, it's really simple. And I honestly just stick with the basics right now. And yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I think this is gonna wrap up today's Monday vlog. Um, thank you so much for the support. Um, every time I read comments, you guys have just been so sweet. And I really hope everyone stays safe out there and be healthy.
don't forget to drink your water and wash your hands as frequently as you can. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.